welcome back. The plan is to go and chase whiting tomorrow morning. It's just pumping a few yabbies. I've got my supervisor on hand. So if you haven't gone yabby pumping before, you get the plunder inside the yabby pump, sucks it out. You can suck up water, that's how it works. Okay, for the smaller holes rather than the bigger ones. My theory is the bigger ones are usually the crabs. You can sort of see there's a good example. That's bigger, bigger, small, 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 small. So that's right aim. Straight in between. Suck it out. Only want to do four or five pumps at most. Usually three is enough. That's the third. There's one there. Two and three. There you go. You just pick them up behind the head so you don't get nipped. And that's your yabbies. So you just want to be gentle with them. Place them in the bucket, look after them. And it's not a bad idea. I've got two buckets here, one with all the holes drilled in the bottom. Make like a sieve. That way when I want to change the water, it's nice and easy and I'm not trying to handle them too much. Um, it comes in handy. How many are you going to eat? I don't think you're done yet. So that's about enough, that'll do for a morning. You don't need heaps, you don't want to take more than you're going to use. Um, just got to clean her now, she's got to get back in my car. I'm still running late somehow. But anyway, see if we can't catch a few summer whiting today. That's the plan. Got some um, yabbies and I bought some bloodworms as well, Crib Island worms if you're being technical. We'll get it set up and um, hopefully we get a few. Alright, so the gear we're using today, better size three or a four ball sinker. That's um, six pound or 2.7 kilo mono mainline. And then we've got about a metre and a half of fluorocarbon trace down to a size 4 hook and then we're using um, primarily worms for bait we've got some yabbies there because sometimes you just never know what they're feeding on if somebody's dumped a whole heap of yabbies upstream you'll, uh, you won't give a, a worm away so you've got to have your options but worms are what I prefer anyway I'm only sitting in you know, about a metre of water nice and shallow makes life very easy through the tail, through the body, and when you're putting your yabbies on I like to come out either just behind the head or through the head and it, put it on straight that way it doesn't twist in the current that's how you present it that way it looks it's still still kicking but it won't twist up if, if you're fishing the current which is where you should be you need a bit of run about 20 minutes we haven't had anything since that legal fish is going to move with whiting you don't have to move far even i'm only going to shift you know 50 meters behind me um sometimes just that little move it turns them on it's the motor noise it's you pulling up the anchor and stirring up the sand they think that there might be food in between it so just keep moving around if you don't get legal fish time for a move again still nothing playing with it so just keep feeding it line. Especially some of the bigger whiting, they really want to chomp it down to size before they actually eat it like that. So if you don't rush them, you're better off. So I 
I don't like picking it up until I see they've actually got it. so they can actually swallow these little hooks, that's the whole point. But too many big fish come up to the side of the boat and then let go of the worm, they haven't actually swallowed it. They get crafty, they don't get big for nothing. This one's just messing with it, chomping it down. centimeters up. I let him eat that for the last five minutes. Look where that hook is. It shows you they just mouth it. They won't always swallow it, so you've got to be careful with those bigger ones. Really let them let them eat it properly. Actually, we're using Yabby's towards the 
again, but the mining weren't touching the apps today. We're just sitting in the worms. Um, thanks to anyone who commented on my last video and suggested I talk a bit more. I'll try to do that and I'll try and keep it up. Um, thanks very much. See you next time.